In this video, we're going to go ahead and begin making it so whenever we look at this object, it'll display the text. So in the previous video, we went through, we set up our blueprint event right here. And then we have created our onTick function and set it to run. So what we're going to do now is create an interface dedicated to returning a string. So we're going to check if the interactable implements this interface. If it does, then what we're going to go ahead and do is display whatever string it is supposed to return. So just how we did in our grab actor right here. So what we did was grab, we uh, got our hitter actor from our line trace. And from there, we casted it to the interface. So we're going to do this with our interactable interface, our new one. Then we're going to call our interface and call whatever function that we have that is supposed to return the string that we want to use. So we're going to do this exact same thing, and we're also going to clean this up a bit by creating our own function that contains our line trace. So to begin, we're going to actually go ahead and create the interface first. So C++ classes, project name, public, and here I want to create it. So right click, new C++ class, and all the way at the bottom we have our Unreal interface, next, and we want to give it a name. So. I want to call mine, let's do interactable interface and create class. Right? No, that, that I do interactable. Let's do, sorry, something more related to getting text. So go text interface and create class. So with that, we're going to have a simple function that we call that's going to be called get text and that'll be kind of what returns our text so in our show text interface we don't need the dot cpp we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with our pickup interface where we create our function here and it has to implement it so i want to make it do the exact same thing for our get text function and we're just going to simply have a return value it's just going to return a simple function and we can even, if we wanted to, have it so that it actually goes through and um, it will actually, we can set this text through Blueprint. So it can be any object. So this object can have one thing of text that it'll display. This one will have another and so on. So that's what we're going to set this up to use. So we're going to go to our show text interface. Under the public section, we're going to do virtual void. Let's do get text and set it equal to zero so that way we have to implement it come over here to our interactable.h so here's our actor we're going to inherit from our public i go text interface and then come up here to the header mine automatically did it but you have to include show text interface dot h now that we have that we have to go ahead and actually override that function so virtual void get text and I do not know why I did a void I want it to return a or uh, I just I guess for now we can actually make it return an f string in case we want to do anything with it so we're going to replace void with f string and go over here to our show text interface at h and change void out with f string as well and here we can go ahead and in our interactable at h create the implementation so I want to create a variable that we can use to actually control what text we're going to use. So under our protected section where we have our mesh, I'm going to copy this U property and do F string and let's call it interaction text, like so. Now what we're going to what we're going to do inside of get text is we're just going to return interaction text so now we have our get text function that we can call we want to go ahead and go to our dot cpp and clean this up a bit but better yet for now actually yeah let's go ahead and clean this up so we're going to create a separate function for our line trace so i'm going to do it up here i want it to return a if hit result and let's call it send or let's do line trace single and make it take in a f vector 
start location and f vector end location now here because these are not going to change they can be constants like so and then we can also so we don't have to actually go through and make a copy of these we can pass by reference so now in line trace single create the implementation and we're going to take let's do all of this and move it up here but we're going to remove the if statement and change start and end to start location and end location like so so now we just want to return our get result and that'll handle it for us so now we can clean up grab actor by getting rid of all of this here and just simply doing from here we're going to just simply call it so that function was perform no it was line trace single start end and then we can go ahead and get the actor so we're going to go ahead and get the actor that way Go ahead and clean this up and remove the extra brace. And now we call line trace single, and we can go ahead and get the actor from the hit result that it returns. So this is going to be, if it's a null pointer, it'll do the check, and it'll do all of that. That's really necessary that for it to actually do to make sure it doesn't crash. So now in our tick, we're going to do the exact same thing. So get our start and end location. Paste it down in our tick. And we're also going to actually, just for now, we're going to copy everything inside of here. So inside of the if statements as well. Just to make this a little bit simpler. And we're going to change the interface to I show text interface. And change the cast to I show text interface. And then change pickup to get text. And here we're going to change it. So we're going to do F string. Uh, actor text equals interface get text now you're gonna have to make sure we include our interface right here so we want to make sure we include here we have our pickup interface we're going to include our show text interface.h and we are pretty much good to go so we're going to get since we have this text we want to go ahead and call that blueprint event and pass it in. So what we're going to do here is go, what was the function called? On held actor in sight. That could probably be renamed. We're going to do f text from string, and the string we're going to convert from is actor text. And we're going to copy that. And on the else, this is going to be temporary because we're going to set it up to where it uh, doesn't do anything unless the actor is hit, so it's not going to constantly keep setting these. We're going to change actor text just to an empty string. And that's all I want to do. So now I can go ahead and build. i got to restart the editor as well, so I'm going to close that down. Let me compile one more time. It's complaining about the live, uh, live coding and relaunch the project. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on our cubes right here. And we have our interaction text. So I'm gonna do press E to hold cube one. And this one's gonna be press E to hold cube two. And save. So let's go ahead and look forward. Press E to hold cube one. I look away, it disappears only when I'm looking at the object is it returning the corresponding interaction message and that's what we want so we have the basics set up for it but we don't have some of the functionality that I want so when I press E I want the message to disappear and not be intercepted by other objects as well so we're gonna have to do some basic logic there to prevent that and that'll be done in the next video so what we're gonna do to sum it up 
is in our get text function, we're going to do a check. So if, you know, it is being held, what I want it to do is simply return an empty string. And if it is not being held, it returns the interaction text. And same thing over here. If held actor is valid, we are not going to return anything. So that way, we know we're holding something. We don't need to constantly do our line trace. So we can do that check all the way up here. So if held actor, meaning it's valid, well, better yet, if held actor equals a null pointer, meaning it's invalid, we're not holding it. Only then will we run all of the code inside of it. So now let's give it a try. I pick it up. I forgot to press Control S to save. I got to do hot reload again, or live coding. So now when I press E, still invalid. So we're having an issue here. Held actor should be a null pointer at that point. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. No, yeah. If it's a null pointer, we want it to run the code. I'm going to perform an else here. Just print out a log. Held actor valid. And give that a try just to see quickly what it prints out it should be spamming right now for example but it's not so my guess is something broke and we have to go through and do a recompile i restart the uh, editor here and test it one more time and it's still not printing so it's only printing whenever we're holding the actor So our logic is kind of wrong here, and I don't know why, I... oh, I, I see. Anyways, we're going to simplify this up anyhow, so we're going to make it so whenever, I don't know if it would be easier to have a control boolean for this or not. Anyways, I'll do something for the next video, but whenever we have the item picked up, I want nothing to happen. When there, we don't have an item picked up, I want this to run, which is what I was trying to do here, but I my thought process was off. And then same thing, just for a kind of a safety check in interactable.cpp, I want it to return an empty string if this item is picked up. So we're going to have a control boolean inside of here for our interactable class that it's going to control. So that's what we're going to be dealing with. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. And if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description if you have any questions or anything like that. You can also find my Discord server. So, see ya.